Good evening, and welcome to tonight's special presentation on the Kurumba sighting. Was it really a UFO that was sighted on the 8th of August 2006, or perhaps a meteor that caused chaos throughout the Kurumba community? Tonight, we're going to attempt to uncover the mystery that surrounds the event and answer the age-old question, do extraterrestrials exist and are we alone? This is CNN. A UFO sighting on the Gold Coast today has terrorized residents and students as schools and roads are no-go zones. The study today was on high alert as an alien encounter sent local residents in southeast Queensland into a state of emergency. The Kua community was rocked by allegations that the local high school was witness to an unexplained phenomenon. The local news making headlines throughout the community and on an international level. Yesterday afternoon at Kumbaba High at approximately 1pm, the unthinkable happened when four year eight students were stunned to witness a large flying saucer land on the school oval. Here I am standing on the very spot believed to have been the point at which the landing took place. This astonishing event was captured by a student on their mobile phone camera. It was a silvery blue manta ray shaped craft and it looked like it was going to crash into the, until it landed safely on the ground. It had an awful smell and was puffing out blue gas. The unidentified object was on the school oval for about two minutes when the blue mist got heavier and you couldn't see the craft. Then there was a deafening noise and it headed in the direction of the airport behind the school. I was eating my lunch when my radio cut out and all I could hear was these strange noises, something not from this planet. Um, there was big, a big spaceship landed and gas was going everywhere. My friend captured it on his video mobile, but people were running everywhere going crazy. Such allegations have caused controversy amongst the community. Behind me now is the caravan park that backs directly onto the school oval. When I questioned the residents, only one witness came yeah, forward. Yeah, I saw it. Kangaroos went flying by at about a million miles per hour. They were petrified. I went outside and I saw a blue gas in the distance. I couldn't see that well, seeing as I didn't have my long distance glasses on. But I tell you something for nothing. Strange things have been going on around here. Just two weeks ago, two garden gnomes went missing, and today I find this instead, some sort of alien. But I'm prepared. Hey laddie, the support about all beliefs about aliens and their UFOs consists mainly of speculation, fantasy, fraud and unjustified interferences from questionable evidence. This is astounding this has happened in Australia. Most UFO sightings are found in the USA due to proximity of the Bermuda Triangle. Police blocked off surrounding roads and access to school is denied. Students were detained in a lockdown while detectors worked around the clock to try and find evidence to prove what the students had seen was in fact real. Several hours after the sighting, detectives found some crucial evidence. Two large circles burnt into the ground covering an eight metre radius. It is believed to have been left behind by the unidentified object. Not only were the rings a mystery, but tablets fan with diverse languages were found nearby the scene. They are yet to be identified. Are we alone? 
According to my calculations, there is a high probability that we are not. The fact that radios were interfered with and the school bells, this could have been a direct link to the transmission interface occurring between both signals, ours and theirs. They were trying to communicate as they shut down all communications within a one kilometer radius. These are equations made by Dr. Mishka Nishina to prove extraterrestrials exist. Yes, it seems that the evidence and witnesses are entirely true. UFOs in a sense of unexplained lights or media particles certainly exist. But flying saucers? That is alien spacecraft never have. Roswell and other so-called sitting are created to cause hysteria. I, can, I can't tell you what landed at Coomba Bar, but I can tell you what it isn't, an alien invasion. If this something was actually a UFO from outer space, it was probably trying to communicate through sound waves from the loss of radio signals. It could have simply been a meteor particle. With the, latest with the latest discoveries of new planets, who knows what lurks beyond our realm. Well, there you have it. Are we alone? The question remains unanswered, and scientists and the SETI and FAI are working around the clock to continue further testing on the remains left by the craft. If you were in the area at, on August 8th at a, and saw anything out of the ordinary at approximately 1, please contact the appropriate authorities in order to unravel this mystery landing. Thank you, Zachary Donahue, for that intriguing and mysterious special coverage at Coomba. We will keep you up to date on the latest findings here at A Current of Hair, where, we, where you see the news the others don't show. Good night, and may the force be with you. simply been a media particle with the new planet oh. students were detained in a lockdown while detectors worked around the clock clock to can we start that again yeah i saw it oh wait hang on oh me um <laughs> Hey laddie, the speculation of beliefs about aliens and UFOs consists mainly of unjustified evidence such as fraud, fantasy... I just said it backwards. <laughs> uh, laddie. It's on? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's very distracting. Hey laddie. Hey laddie, the support about... Hey laddie. The support about all beliefs about aliens and their UFOs consists mainly of fantasy, fraud, unjustified testimonies from questionable interferences. It's hard to say which is true and which is someone just made up, which has been made up by someone. Okay. The support of all beliefs about aliens. <sighs> 